Let's take a look at a frequency table. So let's draw a table here. So a frequency table gives you a certain piece of data. It tells you how many of those pieces you had. So let's say we're talking about um, we've got a, a group of students in a room and we want to know how many siblings they have. So this is number of siblings. So let's say somebody might have zero siblings. Siblings means brothers or sisters, by the way. So let's say somebody might have zero, one, two, three, four, or even five siblings. Let's say that in this particular classroom, that's how many people, how many siblings somebody had. So this side is going to tell us the number of students in the room who satisfy that category. So let's say in this classroom, there were three kids that had no other siblings. They're only children. There were two kids that had one sibling, three kids that had two siblings. There was one person who had three siblings. Nobody had four siblings. And there was one person who had five siblings. This is called a frequency table. Sometimes it gives people a little trouble because they're not sure what to make of these numbers. So this is the way we interpret it once again. This tells me that in this category of zero siblings, one, two, three, four, or five siblings, that's the category. And this tells me the frequency, that's what that word means, or number of people in the room who fit that category. So three people had zero, two had one, three had two, one. So if somebody, you were using this data table for homework and it said um, how many students in the room had two siblings, you'd look and say three students had two siblings. And that's the way you use the frequency table.